Nick Offerman fans, if you're not Parks and Recreation, maybe off the air, but Nick is not slowing down. That's right. The actor and best-selling author is out with a new book in stores today. It's called Gumption, Relighting the Torch of Freedom with America's Gutsiest Troublemakers. What a great title. <laughs> Nick, is. it's so good to see you. Thank you. Can we do the elephant in the room first, the mustache? Sure. Uh, any chance it's coming back? Will we see it again? Uh, someday. I mean, I'm a character actor, so that was something I used for my character, whose name was Ron Swanson. Yes, he was. But that job is over, so <laughs> that, that tool is hung up in the toolbox but for a while. You call yourself a mustache icon. Do you feel like that's, you know, losing the mustache has detracted at all from being a mustache icon? I, I would never call myself any sort of icon <laughs> unless it was a, an icon, perhaps, of, uh, of belching. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, really? I'm pretty good at uh, at gas very bold, very bold say meter. more about that just kidding don't <laughs> sure <laughs> I'll, I'll run you through the menu <laughs> let's talk about the book gumption one of my favorite words in the english language thank you you profile 21 people ranging from george washington to conan o'brien what do they have in common uh, well, those two are tall. Um, <laughs> they're, they're Americans who have inspired me with the way they've lived their lives or things they've created in their careers um, with a sense of humor, but also they all sort of show me a way I can live uh, in which I can be more decent to my fellow men mm. and women. And it, it seemed like a, a good-hearted thing to pass along to my readership. You actually did the research, right? I did, yeah, the, the difference between my first book and this one <laughs> is this one required homework. <laughs> why, would, why would you do something like that? I, it was, it was, I, it did not occur to me when I, when I thought of the book uh, that I would have to do a ton of homework. But it was, but it was really enjoyable. You've got one of your favorites on the list is Teddy Roosevelt, and you tell a, a great story about him that displays gumption. That's, it's true. He, uh, I mean, there's so many great stories about about number 26. But he, uh, he was he was campaigning in Milwaukee, and he was getting ready to speak, and someone tried to assassinate him. They shot him, and the bullet passed through a glasses case and a folded up speech and entered his chest, and he st he stopped and said, he checked out and, and determined that it hadn't entered the lung. And then he said, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, if you are aware, but I've just been shot. <laughs> it takes more than that to kill a bull moose. Wow. And then he spoke for 90 minutes while his shirt just soaked with blood. And they later determined that it was safer to leave the bullet in him than try to pull it out. So he, he bore that slug the rest of his now life. That's a man. That's gumption. Can, yeah. you, can you imagine someone <laughs> on the campaign trail today? I mean, just getting a splinter that I have to go to the hospital for and, a week. And the campaign. Now, last time we had you on, you mentioned your previous book. Uh, there were canoes involved. You were seated in one, Al Roker and I in another. That's right. I remember it being rather adventurous. It was. Here, Al and I trying to fit in one small canoe together. And Al so enjoyed the experience that he's volunteered to bring in his canoe from home, and he's right over uh, there again. Al, how does I, it feel? I don't think I volunteered. You did. I, I did. Yes. yes, I did. You drove the truth is, Nick, he's never left that canoe. Yeah. That's how much the segment meant to him. Yeah, I canoe it, down Fifth Avenue. You can, really, you can really feel at home in a canoe. He looks, he looks right at home. Still, still making your own canoes, by the way? Not, not as frequently as I was. I'm, I, uh, I'm too busy reading books about Benjamin Franklin. There you go. The book is a lot of fun. It's smart, it's funny, it's called Gumption. The man is Nick Offerman. Nick, always good to see you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.